Okay, this is a Photoshop tutorial for creating a tiled graphic. And a tiled graphic is something that you can put on a desktop or your wallpaper or <clears throat> excuse me, or um, a web page and you can't tell where one edge ends and the other begins. Um, so I'm going to choose something. This is a little difficult. Typically I would start with something as a beginner with something like sand because you don't have to really worry about edges. So first off, I'm going to click my rectangular marquee box and somewhere here in the middle I'm going to drag a square. I'm going to try to avoid areas with tons of shadow. Well, it's going to be difficult on this one. Alright, and as long as I have a square and I'm going to crop it. Alright, so now what I want to do, see if, if I go to image, image size I can see that it's 340 by 340 approximately. So if I go to filter, other, offset, and about 100, well here 170 by 170, I usually cut it in half. And you can see a pretty distinct line going down. So what I want to try to find a way to do now is to use tools to, that will make this line go away. For example, if I use my clone tool, and I find, you see this kind of rock that's shaped, that's going this direction. If I can, whoops, if I can find something that fills up that side, um, let's see, some, like this edge of this rock here, I alt click, and then I can paint out the little piece there. Okay, and if I see something like the bottom of this rock, I can paint out, or actually sometimes you just have to go with it and, and fix another piece. All right, and this rock up here, perhaps can finish this one out. And you know, just kind of get creative, play with it a little bit. Um, and really, it just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of you know time to, to organize things and get them all kind of ironed out. And you'll have a pretty smooth graphic when you're all finished. Um, and again, I kind of sometimes will just overpaint so that there's not obviously just things down the middle that are um, corrected. For example, I could take this rock here and then start down here. All right, so I'm going to pause for a second and finish tidying up some of these edges. Okay, so there you have something that's fairly close. I mean, you can still see a little bit of the blurred edges and stuff, but if I do Control F, it'll filter it again. Sometimes when you filter it again, you can see a line that you left. I still don't like this little area right through here, so what I'm going to try to do is find a rock that's kind of prominent, but not too obvious. Maybe this, no, this one here. And I'm going to just kind of paint it in here. Okay, and I'm going to filter again. Alright, so I think that's pretty well tiled. So if I was to save this as a JPEG on my desktop, and I'll call this background. Okay. So I'm going to go out here on my desktop and go to Properties, Desktop, and then I'm going to browse for my file and I'm going to choose background and I'm going to do tile okay so now if you look at this picture I mean you'll see obvious things that are the same like this little pocket is the same on each one but you can't really see where one stops and the other starts so that's one of the cool things about doing a, a tiled background. And really, if I wanted to now, I can go back into my Photoshop, look for this little pocket here, and fill it with another rock, such as this one here, to maybe take some of that repetitive stuff out of it. And I'll save this one as BG2. OK. Now if I go back to my desktop here, and I go to browse and I'm going to choose BG2 tile 
you'll see that that little pocket got kind of taken away, so it makes that a little bit more flowing. All right, just by adding that one little rock. Now, obviously, you'll see rocks that repeat, but you know, unless you know, you could take even rocks from other pictures and copy in. But that's a way to do a quick tile background. I hope that helps, and hope it's fun.